What is going on you real people? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I have this really interesting toy right here that I found at the store and I just had to pick it up. They had it for like a really good price. It was on like $10. And this is a line spooler by PC Fun. Let me see and show you all their logo right here. Yeah, this is by PC Fun and it's a uh, line spooler. And um, let me set it up here so y'all can kind of get an idea of what this thing does. Okay, so what you have right here is this is your, uh, you know, your reel holder right here. You know, you slide it up right there, hold your reel into place. And this right here is going to hold your line, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, these arms come down. They uh, hook those little holes on the side of the line and holds it in place. Okay, now for the sake of this video, I got some uh, Zebco OmniFlex just because it comes in this huge spool and it's got the big holes that I think will fit perfectly. So let me just see real quick if it'll hold. Oh, this thing's very awkward to use. Okay, yeah. Actually, it holds really good. There you go, yeah. Okay, see, it's holding the, the line right there. Now, what this thing is meant to do it now to avoid line twists, and um, anyone that's a really big fisherman knows when you get a line twist in your reel, it causes for a whole bunch of backlashes, and it can just like really turn into something miserable, and you don't want that. So you want to avoid line twists in your reel as much as possible. Now, when you... Uh, Spool your reel by hand. A lot of times, line twists will get in there because that spool you can like only do so much with. You can put it on a tree, hang it from a branch, anything like that, or just have it flop in there on your dock and uh, try and put some line on it. And sometimes you will get line twists, and that will cause backlashes and other issues with the reel. So this thing is meant to do is spin like that and completely avoid all line twists. So let me go ahead and get a reel to use. Uh, the reel for this video I'm gonna be using is this one right here. This is the Lose uh, Classic Custom Pro. So I'm just gonna put this on here real quick. Slide that down. Put it on here. So far, so good. It's getting on there real nice. See, real good and even, real tight. All right, there we go. That is about 100 yards, 150 yards worth of uh, line right there on this reel. And this line spooler really, really helped. That was really nice. Smooth, has a line on there, nice, tight, straight, no twists, there was no uh, mess ups. The only problem we had was at the beginning, getting the line started, but once it got started, it stayed straight the entire time. I know y'all can't see that, cause that line is just so like that. But look, it stayed straight, no twists. Everything worked just fine, so all in all, really, really nice. Very handy to have. Now, if you want to go all, all the way and, you know, not do it the old-fashioned way and just throw it, you know, the line spool on the ground and then just reel it up on your reel and want to have the risk of getting uh, line twists, go for it. You know, that's it's a way quicker way. I know a lot of the pros do it that way because they just don't have time to put it on something like this and then do it out there. Now, they might do it at home before, you know, when they get their boats ready and stuff like that, do it at home, have the line ready and set to go, do it like that. So definitely something to have in the toolbox, in the garage with all your stuff, because this would definitely come in handy. The line is super tight on there. Go ahead and take it off for y'all. Yeah, but yeah, when you're done, just pop it right off. Holds it right there on, that is uh, really cool. It really, really holds well on the big spools like this. If you get the smaller spools with the smaller holes, might have a little bit more problem with that, but if you mess around with it enough, you'll eventually get it. But yeah, these bigger spools, the bigger hold, holds it perfectly on here, which is great. Now, let me uh, take this off so y'all can see this reel. Line went on very even, very smooth, very tight, no twists, nothing that I can see anyway. So, uh, hold on, get some tape to hold the line in place. But yeah, there you go. Even on both sides, real tight, real smooth. Looks just, looks amazing. Looks amazing. So this is definitely one of those things. <clears throat> so this is definitely one of those things that would come in handy around your garage. Or if you're getting ready for like a big tournament or you're just getting ready to go out the next morning with your buddies and you wanna make sure all your lines have new liners spooled with no line twists. It's really cheap, $10 at Walmart. 
This is the PC Fun line spooler. Really, really nice. I'll even leave the link for it on Amazon down the uh, link below. But yeah, this is definitely, definitely worth the money, guys. I know I've reviewed a bunch of stuff before, but this, for the money, is really, really nice. For $10, I was really half expecting it to suck. Not gonna lie, really, really was. I thought I was gonna do horrible, but uh, this is actually really, really smooth. I thought this piece was supposed to twist when you reel it in, but it didn't. It just stayed in place and kind of like held balance on the line spool when you were doing it, which is really nice. Now, there's also a tension knob up here which you can turn all the way and make it so it doesn't twist as much. It holds it more still. I don't know what that would be used for, maybe. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, this is the PC Fun uh, line uh, spooler. I'd say for the $10 I spent on it, it was a really, really good buy. I can see this really coming in handy in the long run, especially getting ready for big fishing trips or anything like that. This thing will definitely, definitely, definitely come in handy and prevent line twists on my reels and hopefully prevent backlashes and other real issues down the road. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxion channel. Hit that notification bell down there for me. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I love you guys. Y'all keep it real. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, guys.